Hi everyone, uh, my name is Hisha. So we come from uh, BT, uh, from uh, mobile apps team and uh, platform, we've got a platform team as well. Uh, yeah, so we are all software engineers and we are showing today uh, Commonwealth Quiz app. Hi, yeah, I'm Andrew uh, and we decided to use the Progress uh, mobile based mobile uh, API to do this. So this is a uh, complete sort of drag and drop uh, development environment. Works quite, we found it works quite well for kind of apps that a lot of the, a lot of the app is based on interaction with REST services essentially. Well basically the idea for the app sort of came as a bit of inspiration when we had a meeting on Monday. We looked at the design brief and sort of had to be inspired by the world games. And we sort of went through the, the progress website and looked at some of the example products that only been as we paid with it and decided that we would uh, try and stretch the boundaries a little bit and uh, integrate a bit of the social aspect to it. Um, I don't know if any of you have heard of an app called Quizzer, which sort of allows for social quiz between uh, sort of friends and whatnot. So we thought we'd take that sort of idea and apply the Commonwealth Games to it. Yeah, I'm Andrew, I'm a software developer at BT. I work on the voice and over IP platform. Uh, I'm Sishan, I work at the software developer in BT as well. Uh, I'm James Thomas, so I'm a French software engineer, I've got VC back in Suffolk on the uh, mobile applications development. Hi, I'm software developer working at BT, uh, mobile apps, uh, Future Voice, uh, Android and iOS and Windows Phone, but mainly uh, Fox and Android for now. It'd be a really good experience to get to meet some developers and also people in industry more generally outside of the company to have some experience working together with uh, in an environment with different people. It's basically something different, a new experience, get you out of the workplace for a couple of days and um, sort of social interaction, uh, get to know new people, make connections with the networking and uh, hopefully try out new stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've always thought hackathons uh, are quite useful, especially this one. Uh, basically, uh, hackathons allow us to explore new areas, areas that uh, we haven't worked on before. Uh, so our project was just called the Commonwealth Games Quiz Application, uh, and then it allowed uh, uh, you could have multiple users uh, they could, uh, competing quizzes on different sports that are involved in the Commonwealth Games, uh, test their knowledge and then compare their scores against their friends. Just that uh, we thought quiz would be a nice way to use uh, the road based API, uh, given the fact that it's usually used for CRM based applications. Quiz is something which is not from, from data usage. Uh, so. And that's what we could use all the other sports they have as a basis for our quiz. Lots of information as well. We, to, we wanted to make something in more interactive and with also a bit of a social aspect with regards to having a high sports table and competing against other people as well. It's, it's quite uh, flexible, so you don't have to program Objective C or Java and just have to code it. Using the vision tools, it allows us to export that into different platforms. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Basically, when I started working uh, using uh, role base, uh, sometimes I found myself trying to do things that actually role base already did and prepared for me. So, so we didn't really have to do much. It was more about exploring the API and exploring documentation, which is which is about 600 pages of heading. <laughs> so it's massive. Role base is massive. And yeah, it makes things easier, so we just need to read more about it and understand what, what it gives us. Pretty cool, we put a lot of hard work into it over the last two days. Yeah, we're quite glad we won. Um, good is good work. Yeah, it's amazing.